Exercise 8. The Josetti Partnership has total partners' equity of $300,000, which is made up of Dopke Capital, $210,000, and Hughes Capital, $90,000. The partners share net income and loss in a ratio of 85% to Dopke and 15% to Hughes. On November 1st, Nielsen is admitted to the partnership and given a 20% interest in equity and a 20% share in any income and loss. Prepare the journal entry to record the admission of Nielsen under each of the following separate assumptions. Assumption 1, Nielsen invests cash of $75,000. The existing partnership is a $300,000 partnership. If they had $300,000 worth of equity, they also had $300,000 of net assets. Nielsen is investing $75,000 in cash. We're going to immediately record that as a debit to cash in the journal entry. This brings the balance in new partnership assets and capital to $375,000. Nielsen is claiming a 20% ownership interest. 20% of $375,000 is $75,000. This is the balance in Nielsen's capital account. Now even though we're debiting and crediting two separate accounts for $75,000, Nielsen's capital account is not being credited for the cash amount. Nielsen's capital is being credited for the portion of the partnership that Nielsen now owns. $375,000 multiplied by 20% just happens to be $75,000, the same as Nielsen's investment. But now let's see what happens if Nielsen invests cash of 110000 The existing partnership still had assets and equity totaling 300000 Nielsen invests $110,000 in cash. This cash comes into the partnership, so we'll debit cash. This $110,000 investment of cash brings assets and equity up to $410,000. Nielsen is admitted as a 20% owner. Nielsen is claiming 20% of that $410,000 company. 20% of $410,000 is $82,000. We credit Nielsen's capital account for $82,000. The difference between the $110,000 and the $82,000 is referred to as a bonus. The total bonus is $28,000. Dopke's capital account will be credited for 85% of the $28,000 bonus, $23,800. Hughes's capital account will be credited for 15% of the bonus, $28,000. 15% of $28,000 is $4,200. Now the term bonus is unfortunate because it makes it look like Nielsen is giving something away. And really that's not the case. The fact that Nielsen is willing to pay $110,000 to become a 20% partner indicates that the assets and the equity of the partnership had previously been understated. And Part 3 assumes that Nielsen invests cash of only $45,000. The old partnership capital and the asset base was $300,000. Nielsen invests $45,000 in cash. This cash is received by the partnership, bringing assets and equity up to $345,000. Nielsen owns 20% of the new partnership. 20% of $345,000 is $69,000. We credit Nielsen's capital account for $69,000. But if the assets are only increasing by $45,000, then total equity can only increase by $45,000. Since we're increasing Nielsen's capital account by a total of $69,000, we need to decrease the combination of Dopke and Hughes by a total of $24,000. This is referred to as a bonus to the new partner. So we take the $24,000 bonus and allocate it using the old profit and loss ratio. 85% of $24,000 is debited to Dopke's capital account and 15% of the $24,000 bonus is debited to Hughes. Dopke and Hughes are walking away from $24,000 of their claim against the partnership in favor of Nilsson, so they must have been pretty eager to have Nilsson as a partner.